Gun violence was the topic this morning in Roxbury for officials from cities and towns throughout New England. This was the city's fourth annual summit on gun violence. Participating communities are trying to reduce illegal gun possession and trafficking. The efforts include new practices by police and the sharing of data. Our second new initiative is enhancing gun owner outreach. It's a comprehensive toolkit that engages gun owners as partners in public safety. We're also able to share it with other jurisdictions. We're certainly proud of this leading edge work. It builds culture division, it, it, it bridges culture divisions around gun ownership in a way that we hope will have a national impact. We had New York give a presentation here and it was pretty interesting to show that the, their major flow of guns are coming from the same areas that are, uh, and that's from the I-95 pipeline, you know, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina. So we got to work together to stop the flow. Any of these chiefs could probably tell you how many, uh, it's, it's, it's hard, the data is difficult to manage, but every week they're picking up guns that were stolen that were then used in crimes. So we're tackling specific issues that they uh, have identified as opportunity areas for impacting gun violence in their communities. And then these projects, we're developing, testing, and then uh, creating them as a replicable uh, version that we can then push out through these summit cities in a way that's much more time efficient than normal replication of projects. But if this was a business problem, um, IBM got a business problem, Microsoft has a business problem, Google, they don't scoot around. They just say, what's the problem? The problem here is people are illegally buying, um, buying guns illegally and then using them illegally. How do we stop that period? But we can't get to that because of, uh, the, I think, what's the inaction in Washington, um, but also the, uh, the unwillingness to, to tackle the, the, the big issues of the day by, by federal government. Nobody's for again, gun trafficking. Nobody wants guns in, in uh, hands of people who have mental health issues. Nobody wants our young people uh, to have these guns. And, and again, we're going to this focus many a times is on less than 2% of the population, whether gangbangers, drug dealers, etc. And when our brave and men and women in blue pick them up, that's why this bail legislation is important. They need to be held, and they need to be put away for a long time.